Good morning everyone! This is Filipina Texas Mom here in Texas. Good morning to all that are watching here in United States. To all that are watching me from the Philippines, maayong magandang umaga. And maayong buntag sa mga paisano ko here in United States or in the Philippines or anywhere else in the entire world. This morning, I just want to have to share the value of God's gift for us. The number one gift the number one gift that God gave us is our life. And I just want to share it to the entire world how how important it is you know to understand that God is the only God that gave us the gift of life. So today, I just want to bring you the, I don't know if you call it a good news or a bad news, but I understand that all of us here on earth are going through so much, so much <clears throat> uh, in our life in a different ways, you know, whether if it's a divorce, whether if it's a relationship, whether it's, if it's a broken heart, whether if it's a, even in the government, you know, the, the leaders in our nations nowadays, um, there is just full of hate and we don't stop and think, hey, life is important and all we need is, you know, to stop and maybe we should pray, give importance, you know, how important it is that we even have life and we are breathing every day. And we have given a forever lasting life, which is a gift from God. And it's like we ignore that He is the only one. He is the only one that give us the gift of life. So today, the state of New York, the state of New York has enacted strong new legal protections for abortions right. So what it means is that uh, it is okay now, okay, like for example, if I am at risk and I am about to deliver my child that is in my womb, let's say in, in two more months, but I am at risk. So therefore, it's, it's okay for me to just kill my baby because I want to I wanna save my own life too. So I'm going to get rid of the baby inside of my womb because I don't want to die. Is that how I should do it? So we're not, we're, we are not going to pray anymore to God. We are not going to ask God to please maybe you know do his miracle or or do something because i have a baby in my womb or else i'm just going to kill it and because i want to save my own life but you know who am i to judge and who am i to say negative things like that about this is the law this is the they, there is already uh, an abortion protection uh, legal protection or whatever for abortion in the state of New York and you guys might think well it's none of your business you know it's politics blah 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 but as Christians it's very important to pray to pray for our nations especially here in, in United States to pray for the whole world this world is full I mean it's full of hate you know I mean um, I think this whole world needs a revival a revival guys do you know what revival means i think the whole world needs to pray so there is, there is more power so that peace and love will overpower more than hate than you know not thinking clearly and killing a baby inside your wounds uh i don't know that is for god to intervene i guess hear what we are doing here on earth anyway i want to share i want to share to all of you 
the reason why I want to pick this topic today, the very, very sensitive topic to talk about is because I have a really close friend of mine. And this is the very first time that I would be, that I come forward and talk about it and tell the whole, the whole, the whole testimony about my really good friend that really touched me. And this was back when I was very young. I was only, well, this was between 1996 and 1997. I don't remember how old I was. Maybe I was 20, 19, 20, some, somewhere in there. I am now 42, so you count, you count the year for me. So anyway, I, the reason why I wanna talk about my very close friend of mine, because back in the days, around 1990s, or as me growing up in the Philippines, it was very, very, very conservative. And people, even Christians people are very, very easy to look at other people's sin than their own sin or than our sin. As Christians are all this, especially nowadays, are worse. Christians are very easy. I mean, like, that's why we, we, we call a hypocrites. Christians hypocrites. Because we always very quick or easy, we are very easy as Christians to look at other people's sin. Other, other people's sins. Other sins not ourselves and we are very quick to judge but okay not to off the subject but i want to share to the whole world now that we are talking about very sensitive subject about abortions when i was younger i have a very good friend of mine very she was so close to me she was a very very loving person so we were we work in Manila. She was working as a maid for a foreigner people, foreigner couple, and I was working with rich uh, family in Manila, and who is a politician actually. So I'm not going to be detailed about that. But anyway, <clears throat> a friend of mine, of course. She grew up in a small island in Siargao. Of course, like I said back then, it is very uh, disgraceful if you get pregnant without being married. Or if you are pregnant, that is that you are not married. Or how do you call it? If you're not married and you get pregnant, and it is very dis disgraceful and it is very embarrassing, to the entire community and that that is how it was it wasn't it was not accepted at all accepted accept accepted there you go i'm so sorry for my english but of course nowadays it's like not a big deal as much right i mean but there's still people still would judge especially christian people but then again we will not go through that that situation if we are right with God and we, if we are not trying to cover our sin be, so that we will not be embarrassed to the entire world but my point is I'm not gonna even go to that about covering our sin but my point of show, sharing you guys the story of my very good friend of mine and it really touched me my whole life and that is probably why you know um, I am very very strict when dating and not to just you know like look at one thing you know in relationship because you have to pay the consequences of your actions right so in the reason why i said that because if i well you know i'm just gonna get right to it my friend she got pregnant with her boyfriend okay she was living in maid with her foreign employer in manila she got pregnant and nobody nobody not even me we are very very close okay and and i can never even talk about it now that is decades ago decades two decades well however decades um 
now I can talk about it. It is not so painful anymore to me because I accepted it, you know. But it was very sad because she was trying to cover her sin. She was trying to cover the embarrassment from the community of what the community will tell or of what the community's reactions towards her because of what she has done, what choices that she made, you know, for herself. So, and the reason why she did that, again, because she was so afraid and embarrassed, don't know what to do, because now <coughs> she was really pregnant and, and everybody thought she was just uh, getting fat. Me, myself, we always hung out. We always cook together on whenever she spent time with me when we have day off. And I have no idea that she was about to deliver her baby. So one day, it was very early in the morning. She and her, she have a companion there, another girl, a Filipina. Even the other girl that she worked with have no idea that my friend also is pregnant and about to deliver her baby so one morning it was very early in the morning around two o'clock she felt like she just wanna go to use it in the bathroom well she didn't know that she was about to deliver the baby so she went to the bathroom and there in the bathroom she delivered the baby in the toilet she thought she was just going to use it for number two this is very graphic guys and it is very sad i this is the first time i ever talk about it to the entire world or in public i never talk about this for i i just kept it because it was very sensitive to me and every, when i remember it i still cry i mean even now i'm still emotional about it because she was so close to me you know and um here it's like i'm you know anyway so she delivered the baby in the toilet no one ever know she was just so quiet in there and, and in that community where this happened this is just in a very rich village in manila in dasmarinas village makati and her employer was not home at that time her employer was on vacation back to their country and it was only her and and a guard because there is a guard the employer has a guard in every houses in in that community has a guard so <coughs> the guard knows what's going on the guard knows that she went to the bathroom she turned on the shower she turned on the faucet so no one ever can hear her so she has been in the bathroom or shower for a very longest time from that two o'clock in the morning and then you know everybody wants to use the bathroom so well come to find out i thought every every well her companion well her co-worker and the guard thought that um she was just taking a shower you know very early in the morning well hours later later hours later they knock and knock and knock the bathroom because they want to use the bathroom well, they found my friend laying underneath the shower, lifeless, no poles, nothing. She was trying to flush the baby in the toilet, but the baby wasn't able to go down the toilet. The baby instead, like, the, the baby, like, the baby gotten so big, I guess, and she was covered with blood with her own blood so now talking about abortions and the state of new york even said it is okay to do it even without a doctor and all of that uh guys doing these things and and killing the gift of god which is the life that God has given us. Um, I don't think we do have the right to do that. 
it is a gift from God you know because if we make a right choices in our decision especially when it comes to this you know that it's gonna be a gift of life I know there's a lot of us wanting to have a baby and we cannot have baby and there's a lot of people that do not want to have a baby but they are doing the things that can lead into this you know circumstances I don't know I'm so sorry if I don't make sense but what I am telling you is very graphic and this was like the unshakable the unthinkable thing that I was um, you know watching my friend my very good friend of mine covered with her own blood and flushing her own baby in a toilet it's because of the shame it's because of the sin it's because she was worried about what other people think about her and the reason why i said this that she did that and i said and i said that it's because because her and i have a conversation about it she said you know how people would be when other people do wrong and you know how it's gonna be a big deal because she did she did share that you know how how very sad how sad she said how sad it is that when other people made mis make a mistake and then judge about it and then they would look at you like you don't even have a soul anymore and then you hear from left and right from your right of your ear and the left of your ear about horrible things that people would say about you she shared that to me and i have no idea that she was talking about herself about her making a mistakes and her what's gonna happen you know like if someone done this if someone done done that and then people would say this people would say that and back then <clears throat> i was not a born again christians back then yeah i was a leader of rosary i go to church you know go to no, do the novena but my heart was not close to god you know i just do what religion do it wasn't about god's word that that i um was learning i was learning about religion i wasn't learning about god's words so i don't know i cannot give her or wasn't able to give her a really good advice and i told her well you know i know i know how big deal it is and how embarrassing it is yes because people can really be really very judgmental, especially Christians. Now, what do you think about the state of New York that, you know, has um, enacted strong new legal protections for, abor for, for abortions right? Now, it's up to you to judge. But for me, only God should ever, ever take the gift away from us we should not you know i mean to me that's my own opinion if i've been through so much like people would say well do you really want to keep the baby like for example if if you get if you got raped and then you got pregnant do you really want to keep that baby well first of all my love my dear it was not the rapist that gave you the life of the the gift of god it is god that gave you the life the gift of life yeah the rapist might done that but most of the most of the cases that people do an abortion the reason is because they were raped it i don't think is that you know so that's very rare it is very rare i think i have never encountered that people did an abortion because they were raped you know it was because of their own actions that they got pregnant. So, folks, um, I shared to you 
the story, the testimony of my own friend. It was really hard for me to to even talk about it. This is the very first time I came forward and shared it to the entire world because I just want that to get out of there for the other people to see. And I know they would say, well, you know, different people going through different, you know, um, going through different problems in life. But my friend, whether if it's a small sin or big sin, God will judge the same way. And I hope that this message can help to others. And this is the main reason I created my channel is to reach out everyone who is going through so much in life like myself have a good day guys and have a blessed day comment down below if you like and i will have more farther um <clears throat> about love because next month is about love month and we should know how to value love and how to prioritize love love that god's demonstrate to us thank you very much and have a good day